11,350 for the signed Mark Knopfler guitar. Any advance? 11,350 pounds going to the gentleman on table 12. Going gone. Congratulations. <laughs> Well done. Uh, next up is a waistcoat worn by Graham Evans of the Graham Evans Band. Any, uh, anyone want to start the bidding? Uh, 700 pounds. 700 pounds for the waistcoat. 700 pounds. No, I'll tell you what, I'll start the bidding myself. I'll bid 500 of my own money. <laughs> Just, yeah. OK, so come on. Who, who'll give me 600 for the waistcoat? 600 pounds for the waistcoat. Worn by Graham Evans. The Graham Evans band. Go okay, six hundred. I tell you what, let's not be silly. Five fifty for the waistcoat. Well, do I have a bid here, sir? Do I have a bid? Was that you? you moved your arm. Yes, you did. I think, well, could you just keep still if you're not bidding? Come on, help me out. I'm not being paid for this. <laughs> Five hundred and one pounds, sir. It's... Adam. Graham Evans, as in the Graham Evans Band? Well, if I'd heard of the Graham Evans Band, I'd have heard of Graham Evans. <sighs> oh, look, it doesn't matter. Well, no, but how much did you bid for it? It doesn't matter. The point is, guess who was in the audience? Graham Evans? Ambrose, Michael's father. Which Michael? Michael from the cafe. He was there with a man. He's gay. So? What do you mean, so? It's Michael's father. What's he going to think when he finds out his dad is, you know... Well, maybe he knows. Oh, of course he doesn't. You know what Michael's like. He's not even comfortable with the idea of normal sex. God normal knows what he'll... Normal sex? You are so homophobic. It's not me. I don't have a problem with it. Well, stop going on about it. Anyway, I need to talk to you about Magda. Oh, no. What's she done now? Nothing. She needs somewhere to stay. What's wrong with her bed set? It's not safe. The boiler's leaking carbon monoxide. They've had to move everyone out. That's a bit of an overreaction, isn't it? A whiff of fumes and the whole place has to be evacuated. I mean, she grew up next to a power station. A bit of Cali gas isn't going to make any difference to her lungs. It's carbon monoxide. It's potentially fatal. She could open a window. Well, I've said she can stay here until it's fixed. Oh, well, how long is that going to be? Unless you'd rather have her sleeping in a shop doorway. No, no, wouldn't want that. Life's hard enough for tramps as it is. You are sweet. It's just it wouldn't happen the other way around, would it? If our boiler packed up, it wouldn't be all round to Magda's. No, because we're not at the mercy of a rogue landlord. That's right. As soon as you're losing the argument, you go. OK, how about this? Welcome to the National Tire Fitters Awards. Now it's your turn to have a blowout. These aren't new trophies. They're retreads, but they're cheaper, and they should see you through next year's due. Rick. I mean, how do you tell someone their father's gay? Please, can we drop this? I'm just saying. How long has he been like that? I have no idea. And you don't even know if he is gay. Oh, of course he is. They might just be friends. If you'd been there and seen what I saw, and saw how he reacted when he saw me seeing them, then you wouldn't be saying what you're saying. You'd be saying what I am saying. Yeah. So, how much did you pay for the waistcoat? Hmm? Uh, oh, it's private. That much, huh? They took it out of my fee. So does it fit? I don't know. You haven't even tried it on? I don't need to. Try it on. No. Why not? Because I didn't buy it to wear it. The money goes to charity. It's a donation. It's too small, isn't it? Can we just get on with these gags? Sure. It's funny, though. Married all those years. Turns out he's leading a double life. Rick, you're obsessed. I am not obsessed. Did you know Michael's father was gay? Yes. You knew? How did you know? No, I did not know. Well, why did you say yes? I did not. You did? I said yes, because I'm asking yes. I'm not... Yes, all right, fine. I understand. 
Mill has told you I'm living here. Staying here temporarily for a day or two. Boiler is leaking gas. Fumes, yeah. Carbon monoxide. Yeah. Very it's dangerous. Very dangerous. So Mel told me. Landlord. I know. Yeah. Mm. Landlord has been served yes, with I notice. Yes, Mel told so me the whole story. Anyway, in case you bump into Michael, he doesn't know. What? He does not know? That his father's gay. Well, God knows what he'd do if he found out. He'd be traumatised. Perhaps he can be cured. No, Magda, it's a bit homophobic. There's no cure for homosexuality. It's just something you're stuck with. Not that it's a bad thing to be stuck with. Do you think it's good to be like this? Yes. Well, no, no not good. Uh, not bad either. It's just, well, it's OK. It's really, it's, it's perfectly normal. It's absolutely fine. God, I hate to say it, Magda, you really do have some very backward ideas. So, I trust you'll be joining us on Friday. Friday? An evening Shea Michael. Your chance to sample the finest cuisine in an intimate, sophisticated atmosphere. <laughs> to where's this happening? Here. It has been on the notice board for a while. Oh, I didn't see. Oh, is that this Friday? Oh, that's too bad. My uncle's flying in from Chicago and I have to pick him up at the airport. Do you? Oh, that's a pity. Still, you'll be coming. Ah, uh, I don't know. It's short notice. I, mean, I did mention it to Mel. She seemed rather keen. She didn't say anything to me. I was rather relying on you. You're very much the guest of honour. Well, I, you know, obviously I wouldn't want to let you down. Well, please don't. No, I won't. So, is this going to be a regular thing? You're going to open in the evenings now? Oh, yes, yes. If it works, why not? Always been an ambition. Now I've got the new place. Why not go for it and become a full-time restaurateur? What about your social life? I haven't really got one, to be honest. So, Michael, will your father be coming on Friday? Father? No, no. Father doesn't approve of my career in the catering trade, as he likes to call it. And anyway, he's away at an antiques fair with Colin. Colin? His partner. Oh, right. OK. <laughs> Business partner. <laughs> Got to be careful how you phrase that these days. Otherwise, people might think, you know, Perish a thought. <laughs> and uh, funnily enough, I saw your father the other night. I was doing one of these charity auction things, and yeah, he was there with someone who was, um, you know, like a man. Oh, that'll be Colin. Yes, they're great mates. Yeah. Father retired, bit of a loose end, always had a passion for film memorabilia. Turns out Colin's got a shop selling that kind of thing. Yeah, father was looking for an opening. Enter Colin. Precisely. I'm putting my food on this shelf. So I see. That way it does not get mixed with your food. I think I get the idea. I have special sausages my mother sent from home. Nice. But please, if you don't mind, do not take, because I cannot get in this country. I, I, I don't think anyone's going to take those. They're made from special meat and blood. Mmm, really. So this is where I don't want yeah, to... I can pretty much guarantee no one will touch them. But... If you like this, you can have. No, I I'm fine. This is also from my country. You can actually get that anywhere, but thanks anyway. No, you cannot get anywhere. Yes, I think you any supermarket you can get those. No, you can only get. Look, let me show you. See? Oh. Yes, here you are. Processed and packaged at Unit 12 Trade Hill Industrial Estate, Peterborough. Yeah. If you do not like, you do not have to have. All right. All right, Rick. All right. Hi, Ben. Uh, Dad, is this your waistcoat? Yeah, it used to uh, belong to a famous pop star, actually. But, uh, oh, cool. Oh, wow, who is it? Graham Evans. As in Graham Evans' band? He used to be, well, anyway. Huh. Well, it's wicked. Can I have it? Yeah, go on. I, oh, I bought it with you in mind, anyway. Oh, cool. Thanks, Dad. Uh, oh, so, my dad, um, have you moved in, then? Yes, boiler is leaking gas. Yeah, they know. Carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide, I've told them. That stuff's really dangerous. Well, I don't know about that. Landlord has been served with notice. Wow, poor you. Poor Magda, poor all of us. <laughs> so, any luck with the job hunting? Uh, yeah, got an interview, but it uh, didn't really work out. Oh, you didn't get it? No, I didn't make the interview. You know, it was raining. And yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, I thought, you know, something else will come along. Yeah. And has it? 
No. 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 But um, it doesn't matter though, Zach, because the thing is, I've got a job. Yeah? Mm. That's great news. Well done. Yeah, cheers. Uh, yeah, um, it's waitressing at Michael's Cafe. Oh, right. Yeah, well, it's only this Friday. Would you like? Oh, yeah. I'll take two. Oh, thanks, my dear. My mother has sent from homes from my country. Wow, jeez. <laughs> hmm. Christ. She's probably just moving the bed around or something. Well, I've never heard anything like it. Don't be ridiculous. I think she had the exorcist out there with her. Have you seen the fridge? No, what's the matter with it? Nothing. Oh, well, nothing yet. She's put her food in it. Hmm. Where did you expect her to put her food? In the airing cupboard? No, I'm just saying, you know. She's partitioned it. There's a no-go zone now in the top shelf. It's like the Berlin Wall, you can't... Shut up. OK. <laughs> Look, Magda is not just someone who cleans for us. She's our friend. Anyway, she's not going to be here for long. Been a whole day so far. Oh, dear. <clears throat> Did you tell Michael that we'd go to his restaurant evening on Friday? No. Well, he told me you did. I mean, he mentioned it and I said it sounded like a nice idea. Well, that's like a yes to him, isn't it? That's all the encouragement someone like Michael needs. Unless you actually pin him to the wall and go, look, you nutter, I don't want to come to your rubbish evening. He's going to take that as a yes, isn't he? Hmm? Just say we're busy. Ah, Marty's bagged that one. I've got a big meeting on Friday, so... No, no, we're... we're committed now. Anyway, I am the guest of honour, so... Oh, I see. Yes, guest. Of honor. Oh, hi, Sam. Hiya. Hi. Hi. Oh, did you get my text? Uh, no. About the job hunting? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no luck. No oh. luck, unfortunately. Um, I got your text and I was texting you back and then someone called... You did she... get a job. At Michael's. Oh, yeah, I did get a job at, um, Michael's on Saturday. Friday? Yeah, on Friday. Um... Well, good for you. Congratulations. Oh, we'll have to go now. Leave a nice big tip. Mm. Uh, well, um, I was going to go fix a bite to eat, so... Uh... Oh, stay away from Magda's stuff. It's alarmed. She'll hear and come running. <laughs> OK. Oh, and don't touch the Cartor's flavoured sausages. Sausages again. Yes, I like to have every moment. Mm, I noticed. Any news about the boiler? No. So what's the problem? Can't they get the someone to... The boiler is leaking gas, carbon monoxide. Yes, I know all that. Why can't they get anyone out to fix Lennox's it? Lennox's brother has come to fix, oh, but okay. he does not know this boiler, so he must ask people who make... Just pay it someone. Old. Why can't they buy a new one? I have one? said this, but it's very really expensive, so Lennox says I must wait to be fixed. And in the meantime, just live here? Yes. But at least I'm not paying rent. Oh, that's nice for you. Thank you. I'm really happy here. Glad to hear it. But, ooh, trains are noisy at night. Sorry? Trains. 
Very noisy at night. There aren't any trains here. Yes, I cannot sleep for sound of train. No, there aren't any trains here. This does not wake you? No, because there aren't any trains. I can honestly say I have never heard a single train in this house day or night. Very noisy, I think. Yeah, but there aren't any... Oh. Morning. At least you weren't gassed in your sleep. Right, that's me off. Don't forget Michael's thing tonight. No. What time will you be home? I told you I'll see you there. I've got the Fergus Donnelly meeting this afternoon. Oh, that. You're still trying to flog his show to the States. Yes. Well, the Americans should love him. He's fat enough. Oh, I'll give him your regards. And behave yourself at Michael's. It's his big night. I don't want you ruining it. What makes you think I'll ruin it? I'm the guest of honour. <laughs> All right, how about this? Welcome to the National Tire Fitters Awards. You must be under a lot of pressure. 32 PSI, to be precise. What do you think? Sorry, what? Oh, God. It's like talking to Ben. Just arranging my evening. What, picking up your uncle from the airport? Got to think on your feet. Yeah, thanks for that. You're welcome. Hello. Hey, how's it going, Magda? You settling in OK? Oh, yes. I'm really happy here. My room is very nice. Bed is very comfortable. Glad to hear it. But I can hear trains at night. Oh, no, I'm oh, sorry. Dear. No, there are no trains here. We've been into all this. Except sometimes I can hear trains. Right, you must be imagining it. I'm not imagining. Yeah, why would you make something like that you up? You can't hear trains here. Wrong. You can't hear any trains. Magda can hear I them. don't want to be in the truck. Have you ever heard a train here? Yes. No, you have Yes, I have, in the distance. You're lying. I hear them every day. Rubbish. Every single day. All right, I tell you what, there's one way to settle this. We'll just stand here until we hear a train, shall we? <laughs> oh, jeez. No, no, shh, shh, shh. Good, well, I think that's it. No, no, you gotta give it more time. No, no you gotta no. leave it longer than that. I don't need to give it more time. Yeah, you gotta that. leave it much longer anyway, than that. I must go. It's my day off. Doing anything special? Yes, I'm going to meet friend Eva at War Museum. Nice. Hmm. To see the tanks. Well, have fun. Thank you. Bye. Poor Magda. Being kept awake oh, like shut that. Up. You know perfectly well you can't hear trains here. Can we write some gags, please? Hey, okay. Though it is hard to concentrate with all the train noise. My sausage. Oh, Ben, those are. I found them in the fridge. <sighs> no, I'm fine, thanks. So. Actually, I think you'll find they're made of. No, you know, it doesn't matter. Cool, cool, cool. So, what time is Sam going to Michael's? Uh, she's already there. Oh, right. Yeah, she left ages ago. So you're just. Just hanging around, really, yeah. yeah. Might go and see how she's getting on a bit later. You're going to go to Michael's? Yeah, just thought I'd grab a bite to eat. I'm not sure that's such a good idea. So I'm just paying for it. No, what I mean is Michael's big night is pretty important to him, and Sam's supposed to be working, so all in all, I think it might be best if you stayed away. Sorry. I... No, I'll be all right. Mm. If you're going to catch up. Yeah, we could try the cupboard. OK. We could always give it a sugar lump. Mm. There is a world inside the world that you see And it's okay to count the minutes Cause how many could there be? And if love is all around us How could this have found us the moon? Bonsoir! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, am I... Early. Not at all. No, please come through. Um, where's Mel? Oh, she's on her way from work. She'll be here any minute. So if she recognises the place. <laughs> no, I've, I've reserved this table for you. So. <laughs> ah, not, not just yet. Now, an aperitif for you. Then I can introduce you to your waitress. I think you'll find she's a familiar. Oh, hi, Sam. Mm. No. A parity first, I think. What can I get you? The bar is pretty Where's well stocked. Uh, she's on her way from work. Oh, right. Have you seen Ben? So... Yeah, I saw him earlier. He's going to drop by a bit later. Oh, right, OK. Sorry, I was sorry. Just gonna... To drink. 
what, what can I get you? Uh, right. Can recommend the Cabernet. Uh, he'll have a beer, I think. Yeah, back in my... Yeah. Yeah. Good waitress. <laughs> Knows her customers. Yes. Yes, quite. Well, this is all very exciting, isn't it? Yeah. Are you expecting many people? Oh, God, yes, yes. Once the rush starts, this place will be packed. None of the restaurants around here get busy this early. Yeah. But you've got quite a few bookings. No, to... no, but I've, I've had a lot of interest. Yes, uh, everyone seems to think it's a great idea, so let's say I'm quietly confident. <laughs> <laughs> Aha! All right. Oh, hi, Ben. Is Sam here? Yes, she is. Cool. She's working. Right. Hiya. All right. Uh, beer? Glass. Glass. <sighs> Sorry, um, are you going to be eating? Uh, I don't know, really. Just see how it goes. Can I have some water, please? Uh, yeah, sure. It's tap water, OK? Yeah, great. Glass. Yeah. Glass. Uh, only there is the tapas bar around the corner, if you just want a, a drink and a snack. No, that's cool. I mean, can't really get in there anyway. It's absolutely heaving. Yeah. Not, not, really a rest not really a restaurant, though, is it? Or a, or a jumped-up yeah. pub. Yeah, I suppose. I feel a bit dodgy. Mm. Really? Okay. So what time can we expect, Mel? Only we did say 7.30. Yeah, I know. She's got this meeting. It must have gone on. Sure. She'll be here any minute, really. Right. So, are you all right? You seem different. Yeah. Not feeling too clever. Maybe you should go home. Yeah, I think I might. I mean, to your place. When do you think Mel might be here? Yeah, I can't get hold of her. She must be on her way. Have you tried a mobile? I have thought of that. Yeah, she's not answering. Right, no worries. Just wouldn't want her to miss out on the squid, that's all, in case there's a run on it. Absolutely delicious, just fried in oil. You should have seen them when they came in this morning, all fresh, glistening. Little baby ones, you know, with the, the tentacles. <laughs> ah, hello. Looks like we're in business. Yeah, um, Michael, maybe you should just let... Good evening. Why not come in and enjoy a glass of wine while you look at the menu? Yeah, don't worry about that. He's not a customer. He's a friend of the waitress. No, thank you. Right, come on. Come on. Come on. Hello, Michael. Father, Colin. Surprise. I thought you weren't coming. Colin felt we should make the effort. Well, you know what he's like. I said, Ambrose, it's Michael's big night. Of course we're going. Well, I'm delighted. Thank you. I mean, do come in. <laughs> oh, mind the, uh... You should probably get that cleared up, you know. It's not very... Yes, I know. It's only just happened. I haven't had a chance yet. Anyway, we've got some real treats on the menu. <laughs> okay. Right, uh, now, why don't we sit you over... No, why don't we sit over there? No, always like a window seat. Good for people watching. Right. Um, Father, you remember Rick, don't you? I certainly do. Rick, this is my business partner, Colin. Yeah. Delighted to meet you, Rick. Yeah, I spotted you at the auction the other night. Yes, I know. <laughs> I thought you were very good. Uh, we said on the way home, didn't we, how good we thought you were. Yes. Well, uh, let me get you a glass of wine on the house. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Sam! So, you like Graham Evans? What? The waistcoat. Oh, that, no, that was more about giving to charity, really. I gave it away. Really? <laughs> That's very generous of you. It's worth a lot of money. I looked it up. Professional interest, you see. He's huge in Japan. He wore that waistcoat on the cover of the first album. Did he? Yes, you get 1,500, 2,000 of that easy. Oh, right. Um, <clears throat> Rick, this is a bit awkward. I don't know whether you might have deduced that Colin and I are rather more than business partners. No, not really. It hadn't even crossed my mind. I mean, what you do... In, in your... In, is... <clears throat> Quite. Uh, well, the thing is... Uh, yeah. It's Michael. You can't face telling Michael about oh, us. It's silly, I know. No, not at all. Bloody hell. And there we were, stuck in traffic all the way after that. What's this difficult journey getting here? Very. Ah, well, that explains it. That's where everyone is, stuck in traffic. <laughs> Let's hope so. No good having a restaurant without any customers. Well, I like it like this. Cosy, intimate, it's a lovely atmosphere. This is so not my job. Yes, well, he is so not my boyfriend. <laughs> not that I got a boyfriend, heaven forbid. <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, I mean, if you did, that would be fine. No. Table for four. Yes, yes, we can do that. Uh, 9.30. Great. Yes, see you in 27 minutes. Uh, there we are. Four discerning diners on their way to sample the Shea Michael experience. Shall I just tip this down a love, then? Or... Yes, yes, if you would. Ah, here's Mel. The rush is on. <laughs> Mel, delighted you could make it. Let me get you a glass of wine on the house. <laughs> Darling, I'm sorry I'm late. Mm. Good meeting. <laughs> Very good. Fergus sold his show to the States, and so he insisted that we all have some champagne, and then we went to the pub to celebrate. Did you? <laughs> anyway, where's the party? It's like a bloody morgue in here. Actually, I'll get you some water instead. No, I don't want water. I don't like water. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Mel, have you met Michael's father, Ambrose? How do you do? And his business partner, Colin. Delighted. <gasps> He's told me all about you. <laughs> You're the gay ones! <laughs> but shh, because Michael doesn't know. No, on balance, I think it's safe to say I didn't ruin Michael's big night. No, I don't know how you put up with me. How was the evening? Well, let's think. The place was like a morgue. Ben threw up, and Michael found out his father was gay. It was a triumph. You did not enjoy? I've had better nights. How was the war museum? It was very nice. Thank you. I enjoyed very much. Oh, good. But my friend is upset. She has bad memories of these things. They should put warning sign, I think. I think the words War Museum do kind of warn you. Oh, Sam. Hi, Dad. Yeah. God, Mum, you look awful. Can Thanks. I just say... Sorry about last night, darling. Oh, no, it was cool. It was a bit of a crap job, so it worked out quite well in the end, actually. Yeah. yeah. Sam, you know that waistcoat I lent you? Gave me. Yeah. I've decided I like it. Can I have it back? Yeah, sure. Um, but I gave it to Ben. Well, can you get it back from Ben? Definitely. Only uh, he cut it up into lots of small pieces. Cut it up? Why? Uh, it was for a textile project. Um, he's going to make like, a collage. What of? A waistcoat. But he went off the idea because oh, <laughs> it's a bit rubbish. Really. What has happened to sausages? Oh, uh, those, yeah. They've gone. Where have they gone? Well, uh, they're all over the pavement outside Michael's cafe. How did this happen? Uh, it's a long story. Please don't remind me. I like these sausages. Yes, I know you do, Magda. When is your boiler going to be fixed? The boiler is leaking gas. No, no please don't tell the whole story again. It's very dangerous. I know. Leonard's brother is coming yeah, to no, fix I know. It. First, he must go to people and ask for help, but it will be... How are the National Tire Fitters Awards? Yeah, it went really well. I came up with this great gag. This guy in the front row. Shh. You hear that? What? Now oh, listen, I can... <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. You've been planning that for the last two days. Yes, I have. Well, I feel very sorry for you that you had to do that, because that means you've lost the argument. No, no, I didn't lose the argument. There are no trains. <laughs> there, there are trains. You know very well. You wouldn't have to do things like that.